What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So I, I, I talked about this, I think, last week or maybe the week before last. And uh, it's if anything, it's gotten tighter. This is the closest three-way scoring chase that we've ever seen. There's only approximately 15 games remaining in the season, give or take a few for some teams. And um, right now, the scoring title is up for grabs primarily between three players. Joel Embiid of the Philadelphia 76ers, LeBron James of the Los Angeles Lakers, and Giannis Antetokounmpo of the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, technically, there's a fourth player, that being Kevin Durant of the Brooklyn Nets, but I don't really include him. Um, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. But right now, this is the closest scoring race you're going to see. And number one, after his 50-point performance against the Washington Wizards, LeBron James is leading the NBA scoring, averaging 29.71 points per game. 29.71 points per game. Number two is Joel Embiid, who right now is averaging 29.66 points per game. And number three is Giannis Antetokounmpo of the Milwaukee Bucks, who's averaging 29.66 points per game. Now, technically, you could say Kevin Durant said it of the Brooklyn Nets. He's averaging 29 a game. He could go on a little bit of a tear. But the reason why I don't think he's really going to be a, a huge factor in this is because I think Brooklyn is primarily focused on just trying to make the playoffs. You know, they're, they're, they have a shot, a real shot at getting a higher seed. And um, at this point, I think Kevin Durant is focused on that. And even though Kevin Durant has four scoring titles, He's not, he's, he's one of the great scorers, but he's not one of these guys who's just, who's just going to go out there and say, I'm going to take 35 shots tonight. He's not, he's not in that Kobe Bryant, James Harden, Rick Barry vein, like as far as I'm going to go out there and dominate offensively. I'm going to just, Take fuck who's out there. I'm going to dominate this game offensively. KD can do that, and he's won scoring titles, but he plays more within the flow of the offense. And excuse me, excuse me, you're hearing a lot of maniacal laughter. You got some shit going on in this house. Bro. But, um, <laughs> I got some shit going on in this house. Um, but anyway. Yeah, this is going to be interesting, though. Um, if I had to pick a, a favorite, it's probably LeBron. Because LeBron is, is you know, LeBron. He, he's playing for himself. I mean, it, it's obvious. He's playing for his, his numbers, his legacy. I mean, the Lakers are not going to get a top seed. That's just, that's over. You know, they, they could... You know, they, they're still in the playing tournament, but LeBron's trying to get his. You know, LeBron's trying to supplant Michael Jordan as the oldest scoring champ. Uh, you know, he'll set a record if he wins it for the biggest uh, time differential between scoring uh, titles. LeBron led the league in scoring, I think it was 2007-2008 season. I think it was. So that was 14 years ago. Yeah, so... Um, I think LeBron has the edge. Joel could do it, but you, you, you tend to think that James Harden is going to cut into his scoring uh, load. So if I had to choose one, I think it's LeBron James. Um, but I do got to say this, though. Even if LeBron James does wind up leading the league in scoring, individually, yes, he'll be the oldest player to do it. But at the same time, he will have been part of the worst team 
his team probably is not going to win more than 35 games. And that would be the worst record for a, uh, a scoring champion as far as his team is concerned since the 1945 season when Bernard King led the league in scoring, but his team only went 24 and 58. And even with that, Bernard only Bernard only played in 55 games. And I I, I can't remember what their record was. I have to look that up when he went down. But I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have finished 24 and 58 had he not missed 27 games. So, yeah, like I said before, individually this means something, but his scoring is not impactful as far as winning. I know people don't like to hear that shit, but it's the truth. Giannis, on the other hand, Joel Embiid to a slightly lesser extent, but definitely Giannis, their scoring is impactful to winning. Very much so. Especially Giannis. You know what I'm saying? Like Giannis, when he has a a good game, the Bucs are probably undefeated. When I say a good game, I mean 35 points or more. Or they're damn near undefeated. But anyway, that's all I got to say about this. Tell me what you guys think.